Uh, what up, fam? This is us coming to you from Mushuga, Washington right now, but uh, we're actually flying back to Minnesota today. But we are going to record today's episode today while we're traveling, and we don't have a whole lot to talk about this week, so we're just going to be asking each other random questions, and that's going to be the whole episode. See how it goes. Do you have an airport routine? Well, first, I blitz through security like a badass because it's down to a science. And then, I'm saying it's like I do it by myself, but it's us. We, then we find our gate. Radiant Energy, whole food nutrition bar from plants, peanut butter. I think peanut. I've only flown by myself like twice. And one of those times I was 18 and I'd never flown before and I didn't have a cell phone. So I did not establish a routine until I married you. <laughs> I hope people talk as much as we do. I feel like it would be probably personality based. You have to be verbal communicators, but like, I feel like you also learned the skill. I don't know that I would have naturally considered myself a verbal communicator. And I also don't do most of the talking, but we communicate verbally almost constantly. Our first priority on every flight is to What are uh, your top podcasts right now? Ooh, Unruffled by Janet Lindsbury. It's a parenting podcast that talks about the like the rhyme method, so it's like gentle parenting, but she goes into depth about all these things. Love it. Freely Rooted, which is what I'm listening to right now, that's about like health and balancing your body's hormones and gut and all this stuff. And then Chris Valentin's podcast, because he's dope. <laughs> There's this new one that I started listening to called Mid Convo, Paul Wheatons and Edward Lee films, filmmaking related stuff and like small business creative stuff. Chris Valentin's Cultural Catalyst so has been very good lately. Jonathan and Melissa Helzer have a really amazing podcast that I super, super love, but they haven't had new stuff in a while, so I've listened to everything there. Uh, what's something you love and what's something you hate about traveling by car? I love when you travel by car, you are in your own zone, like your own safe space. Like the car belongs to you, the people that you're with are people you've chosen to be with. So it actually like, makes a lot of space for a great conversation. Uh, I love that. <laughs> I hate how long it takes to get places. something that being home does where I feel like I'm able to like reset and kind of get perspective on what I'm doing and what the next thing is. And I feel like I really struggle to do that on extended trips. It's a hard balance for me between like routine and vacation. It tends to feel less clear and a little bit more just like a string of things. Experiencing different cultures over a short amount of time, I think is one of my favorite things about traveling, long trips, etc. Mm -hmm. We're back. On a scale of zero to 10, how much do you love Minneapolis? Uh, 9.8. I'm feeling a 10 tonight. Might be less another day, but it's still good to be back. Mm -hmm. 